with Adelo Nyango and Shafi Waru. Super excited um, to host our star today. It's none other than World in Studio, which sounds like we've got the entire world <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. in studio. In one room. But it's felt a bit different. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and you are originally from Nigeria. Yeah, I was born in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Um, moved to the States, um, went to college mm. in um, Atlanta. Yeah. You know, that's where I really, like, um, started my music career. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, it's been a crazy journey. Okay. So yeah. we're going to get to the music journey in a bit. But um, earlier on, we were talking about um, YouTube versus conventional universities. Mm-hmm. And um, just whether you think that YouTube has become more relevant in learning different skills. We mm-hmm. talked about a woman who learned how to build an entire house, which she did. Wow, <laughs> Five-bedroom house. Um, there's a guy in Ethiopia who learned how to build an aeroplane mm-hmm. off of YouTube when he was denied entry into like the... Because of his height. Yeah, because wow, of his crazy. height to the academy that's to learn crazy. how to... He was too short to be a pilot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only that's crazy. <laughs> and um, so what, what's your take on it? Because I know that mm-hmm. what you're doing right now, which is music, is not exactly what you studied. Yeah. yeah. So I went to college. I studied computer science, mm-hmm. my bachelor's, and I uh, did my master's degree in information technology yeah. and project management. Yeah. Now I do music, right? <laughs> yeah. So for me, um, it's been a, a lot of like different like stages. Mm-hmm. I had to um, invest in a studio. Yeah. And in order for me to be able to operate that, like, I had to learn how to engineer yeah. and make songs by myself. And YouTube helped a lot. What? Right. And yeah. really, because it's really expensive to, like, you know, wait on an engineer every time. Because mm-hmm. I would have engineers that would, like, just stun on me, like, really work with, like, spend their time working with bigger artists yeah. at the time. And I would wait around, like, with an equipment in my place that I couldn't operate. Mm-hmm. So I had to go to YouTube and learn how to. Record myself, yeah. yeah, and now it became a habit. Like I actually record myself in every song that yeah. I do. Okay, and even when I, you know it's so crazy just to add to that. My, yeah. my younger brother, he's a fashion designer. He mm-hmm. went to school for mechanical engineering. What? And um, <laughs> like he actually cuts and sew, learned everything on YouTube. What? That's crazy. Yeah. I, I I need to know this because um, so African parents, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah, um, all went to the same school to learn how to discipline us, right? Yes. And so, how do you have that conversation, like with that's your a, folks? You know what? That's a that's a universal school. Yes. Like, for, <laughs> uh, like I think all African. Um, you know, countries can relate to yeah. that. Yeah. So, like, if you're like every traditionally every African parent would be like, okay, you're going to be a doctor. A doctor. I love yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean. Yeah. And so, after you've done this, um, you know, your computer science and your brother's done his mechanical engineering, and then mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I'm going to be a musician. How did that conversation go? You know what? I've through the process of going to college. Yeah. I kept music as my side vibe, right? Yeah. Like it kind of like um, limited my my study hours, reduced mm-hmm. my study hours because I would go from college to nighttime, go to talent shows, yeah, and all that stuff. I didn't, I didn't. They had an idea. I love music. Mm-hmm. They just didn't know how um, involved I was mm-hmm. in like putting my time into it. Yeah, I think they, it didn't really hit them till I saw me on TV. Okay, I'm like he's famous. <laughs> <laughs> now this really, is walking, and, and the conversation was different. They didn't yeah. know that I literally stopped my IT profession. Yeah. You know, you know, and they didn't know how I was really like really into the music. Yeah. Until they saw me on T V and it was a different conversation. Yeah. And like I really didn't have to explain much of what I was doing. Because now it had come like now when things were looking up, right? Like, exactly. So not through like the hustle years exactly. of music. They just only like really worry so much about the finances and how you keeping up. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Which is really like at the end of the day it's all love. Your parents just want you to be good, good for years and you know, to be said. When like, you pull up and you say, "Hey, mom, dad, like this new car," then they really love you more. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're doing there. That's it's really so crazy. true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be getting to <laughs> until worlds. then they'll be on your neck yeah, yeah. <laughs> until you bring something home. Exactly. They're like, oh, okay, he's leaving. Okay, Absolutely. so we're gonna get to his music in the next four minutes. He has a new song out that we need to introduce you to um i also have some nyashinsky with hello on the way but really want you guys to chime in on the conversation and in west africa it means something totally different exactly which yes. we cannot tell you this morning but hey hello his most recent release uh playing right here on kiss fm at 23 past eight here with the Nyango and shafi Weru. we have a world in studio and we're going to be playing contagious um for you in a bit so you can sample some of his music but before we get to that like what would you describe your sound as like is it influenced mainly by your African roots or mm. is there like a balance it's a balance more yeah. um, it's um, it's electronic music mm-hmm. fused with like um, afro soul vibes yeah and really like um, 
lately I've been living my childhood um, memories like with the African mm -hmm. um, elements that I've been fusing into the music. But really, it's just world music, mm -hmm. colorless music. The conversations are very um, uplifting, fun, and just really I, I I experiment a lot. Yeah. So it's really going to be difficult for people for me to create the same sound. Yeah. Over and over again, and it's always the goal. So I think yeah. every song is always going to have a new light, yeah. new life to it. Yeah. When when did you know like music was your thing? Like when do you remember when you were just, or you was know, it just always around you? You know what? I I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. Like it's been so long. Yeah. So I was like, I'm like 13. Yeah. Um, I just you know that was the one thing that that I've called like my safe space. Mm -hmm. You know, in my escape. Yeah. You know, really, and um, I just found myself learning it. After a while, I learned how to create music. Yeah. And, um, you know, like, it just stuck with me. Yeah. Yeah. And what is, um, so when you joined the the music industry, like when you decided, yeah, this is what I'm mm -hmm. going to do, is there, like, something that you know now that mm -hmm. you wish you knew then? Um, honestly, so many different things, yeah. right? Um, I wish that I went to music school mm -hmm. and pursued it faster. Yeah. Um, you know, I think... Um, a lot of times we're very scared to really share what we really want to do mm -hmm. with our parents. And it's very important that we kind of like, like, and I just hope and I pray and I hope that more parents allow their kids to really follow their dreams early. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we are going into Contagious. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about the song before we drop it? Um, so, so Contagious is a fusion of Fuji music, which is like this classic african nigerian sound it's like uh, like another sub genre it's like afro beats mm -hmm. and really it's like a fuji mix with juju music and afro beats yeah and with like a, um, a very progressive um sound and conversation yeah that's very colorless and happy people are contagious love is contagious energy is contagious heavy rhythm dance just really happy vibes okay yeah yeah yanni vibes we need on a monday morning <laughs> absolutely 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 yeah, okay yeah. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the song and then y'all can tell us what you think about it on twitter at kiss 100 kenya here you go hello nyango and shafi Waru. is this what you need like on a monday morning like just telling people just be happy man <laughs> like, it's, just, it's a reminder yeah know? yeah yeah and I think like music is powerful in that sense. Like yeah. there's there's a lot of music that you go to when you're feeling like meh on a absolutely. Monday morning. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And so, um, when did you when did you write this song? The song was created um, like last year, mm -hmm. like summer of last year. Mm -hmm. And um, I um, worked on a song with a producer named Sheezy. Yeah. Um, really, like w it took us a while. Yeah. Cause, like um, the fusion of the sound, I really wanted to be as authentic as possible. Yeah. Every element in the record. So it took us about like four to six months to complete wow. the song. Yeah. So I left it for the first initial time. And yeah. Came back to it maybe like three, four months after. Yeah. And we like it made sense. You know, I had to study the culture because, like, I you know I live in America and I wanted it to, I didn't want to create a watered down. Yeah, Apple vibe. I wanted it to the rhythm and the sounds, yeah. everything to make sense. And and we were we were just talking as the song was playing about you know how you remind us of Trezor. And I remember when I, you know, first interacted with his music, I was mm -hmm. just like, oh, this is so refreshing. Like it's yeah. very diverse. It's not the usual Afro beat that you get. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like sometimes we miss a lot of Africa in the Afro beats that does make it to the international platform? You know, um, I think everyone. Like we're in a different space now. Yeah. Um, I think previous years we've just made music um, based on how we felt and just no rules at all. Yeah. Um, now that the world is watching, um, it's a different conversation. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, like I, I just would love to see uh, just more of like the authentic African sounds being exported. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and it's just it's just a matter of time. Okay, yeah. before it happens, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so when we come back, of course, we have to say, like, the message is just so nice, like, just simple blessings, man, by Thomas Riley, and it's playing right here on Kiss FM at 22.9. Uh, on a breakfast with the stars this morning, we have World in Studio, Yummy Queen is saying, I am enjoying the conversation undercover at work. <laughs> She's a chef. I don't know how she does this, but anyway. <laughs> um, and she's saying that, I have two questions. Does he have the Nigerian accent? Because I can't hear it. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Yeah? I do now. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> it comes off. Within day. Hey, yeah. hey, you can hey. put it, you can wear it on. Yeah. yeah I did, like I did, a switch. I did Kenya now. Yeah. Niaje. Hey. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, just say Lamba Lolo. Uh, Lamba, oh, poor. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I think poor. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. Don't say don't it. Say it. <laughs> don't say it. Um, Mr. Easy was here and Shafi taught him Lamba Lolo. Lamba Lolo. Which one is Lamba Lolo? Lamba Lolo is a survive. It's, it's not just a it's vibe. It's a vibe. Even nice to see. Yeah. That's what he throws. When he's, he's throwing L's at people on uh, social media. Just like, <laughs> you guys just do Lamba this. Lolo. Like, we yes. have stars that come through and you just teach them, like, <laughs> so I'm about to, listen, I'm about profanity. To go, I'm about to yeah, Lamba Lolo. <laughs> Lamba Lolo. Tweet that, man. No, I'm And then you see, man. <laughs> How do you spell that? I don't, I don't, I don't uh, make sure. L-A. Huh? M-B-A. <laughs> B A space 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 L O L O L O L O. Yeah. It's like saying Mayolo. No, it mm. is not like saying. No, it's not, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I can say it on radio, trust me, you can tweet it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, listen. And she's also asking: Is uh, world taken or nah? Just asking for a friend. No, Tell them Lamba no, Lolo. No. no. <laughs> No, just La- say Lamba Lolo. <laughs> you listen. It's like so pass. You're in trouble now. It's like pass. He, he will. Yeah. It's like pass. It's pass? not. Yeah. Is it? Like say Lamba Lolo. Lamba Lolo. Yeah. Right. It's it's really not. <laughs> like please don't trust this guy. <laughs> However, um, so your music. I know Contagious has a music video out. Guys can check it out on YouTube. Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes. what's your YouTube channel? It's um this is world mm-hmm. as well. So it's world vivo. Yeah. And, um really just world contagious W U R L D. Um my social media is this is world. Yeah. Um the same on Twitter, Facebook and um Instagram. Yeah. And it's T H I S I S W U R L D. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is World, guys. Um, and, of course, you're in the 254. Um, are you going to be linking up with some of our Kenyan artists? As yeah, well? I'm looking forward um, to, um, you know, I've been introduced to, like, uh, music, like, uh, from guys like um, Sa- Sa- Sao Yeah. Um, Vanessa MD is dope as well. So, yeah. really, you know, um, I'm open to being an amazing act and finding hidden gems yeah. in Kenya before I leave. So, I'm keeping my ears open. Yeah. So introduced you to Nyash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You say you weren't going to say like that. <laughs> oh, Yashinsky. Yashinsky. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that but, you're uh, you're like us and you know, we always have claimed Vanessa MD as Kenyans. Yeah, like yeah. total Tanzanians, just chill. Yeah, She's music, ours. You know what music yeah. is music at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, um in really you know, you like you mentioned earlier, she's been here a lot. Mm-hmm. And, um, she went to school here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You know, I'm sure she learned a lot of the culture, mm-hmm. so yeah. And and would you be able to do um collaborations with like Artists who are probably not well known, but they still yeah. have richness. You know what? That's why. That's why I mentioned earlier. I'm. I'm very open. Um, mm-hmm. Artists. It's really about vibe. Good music is good music. Yeah. When you meet people and you feel the vibe and you hear the authenticity in their sound. Yeah. You really can't can't shy away from that. True. The magic happens. Okay, so we're gonna um, in a bit play his uh, song "Show You Off," but that's the song we're gonna end with. But before we do that, lastly, we need to, need to take you through celebrity quick fire. Um, which is just okay. a bunch of very easy questions to answer. Oh my answer. God. Very, I'm, very I'm so bad with questions. <laughs> right, just go. remember, if you're on a pass, you just say Lamba Lolo. No. Lamba Lolo. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Breakfast with the stars. Celebrity quick fire. Question number one. If tomorrow you woke up as Vanessa D, what's the first thing you would do? <laughs> Eat ice cream. Eat ice cream. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. If you were stuck on an island. All right. Mm-hmm. Which three African musicians would you pick to be stuck with? African, mm-hmm. Vanessa MD, mm-hmm. Tiwa Savage, mm-hmm. and uh, Simi. Oh my God! Wow. So, Shafi, I know what you want to say. Like, where they know? Like, <laughs> all chicks, all hey, there's a lot of Lamba and Lolo there. Lamba and Lolo, Lamba and Lolo, all day, all night. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Moving away from that. <laughs> Next question. Your house is on fire. You can only um, save three things. Not mm-hmm. people, three mm-hmm. things. What three things are you saving? My passport, mm-hmm. uh, my ID, mm-hmm. and uh, my jewelry. Okay. <laughs> what are all the names on your passports? All the names? Mm-hmm. The government names. The government names? Yeah. yeah. Sadiq, Abiyado, and Ifade. Huh? Sadiq, Abiyado, and Ifade. On the Friday, yeah. <laughs> no, you're <have> blind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's you know what? It's crazy. Like people ask me, and it's online. People, when you Google, like yeah. you find it. So okay, really, but yeah, I go by world. Yeah. So last, last question: the blue hair. Is there any other color it would change to, or it's just different shades of blue? Different shades of blue. Yes. Okay, guys, that was celebrity cook fire. I don't think anybody else has used Lambalolo as an answer before. So <laughs> the history has been made. Um, awesome. Thank you so much, World, for coming through today. Thank you so much for having me. I had fun. Yes. Yeah. So make sure you um, check out his music. Check out the video for. Con-